This is Susan Aitken. She's the leader, she's SMP leader in Glasgow. Now, Glasgow are going to be hosting the COP26 with all the hippies and governmental leaders, presidents, prime ministers going there uh, later this week. Next week is going to be quite crazy there. But Susan Aitken, who's in charge of Glasgow, and the SMP not only are running Glasgow, they're running Scotland at this point for years and years. She's come out to talk about the issue that they are facing with the rats, with the rubbish, with all the strikes from the railway workers to the council workers, the same council workers who work under Susan Aitken. Now, as you can see, she's, a, she's got a very doom and gloom sort of personality already. She's come out to say, well, it's not my fault. It's not Nicola Sturgeon's fault. Guess whose fault it is? Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> They've been unable to clean up the streets of Glasgow and sort out unemployment and sort out all the problems of the council that they have because Margaret Thatcher. I mean, okay, fine. Considering Margaret Thatcher left the office in 1990, considering Scotland has been run by the SNP for years and previously by the Labour Party, the Scottish Labour Party, Susan Aitken herself has been in charge since 2017 and that's a few years, you know, a few years to be able to clean up the mess. And it's just getting worse. Knife crime getting worse. The rubbish on the street is getting worse. The population of rats growing every single day. And people are running away. The moment people become middle class and people are going to obviously get good jobs, they run away from Glasgow. Why? Because of you guys, not because of Margaret Thatcher. I mean, let's just be objective. Absolutely. I can understand that the 1980s policies, the Thatcherist policies that came up, um, of course, the idea was not to be interventionist, which means that when parts of the population did well, certain areas were left behind. I can't even defend that. Yes, Scotland, for example, controlled by the Scottish Labour Party, uh, didn't really did become a winner during the 1980s completely. Of course, not all of them, the urban areas, uh, not the rural parts of Scotland. So I fully understand that if, if back in the 1980s, someone like Susan Aitken would come out to complain about Margaret Thatcher. Absolutely. Since then, you've had decades, both the SNP and the Scottish Labour Party to sort out the mess, and you haven't done that. Fascinatingly enough, today we had the budget, which is soon I can announce the budget. And uh, of course, the Tories keep coming out to use uh, the, uh, the excuse of the Labour Party, previous Labour government, that they created the mess. Rachel Reeves and the, the other left wingers came up and said, well, can the Tories stop blaming everything on the previous Labour government? That's a fair comment. So if the Tories should stop talking about what happened 10 years ago, maybe Susan Aiken and the Nicola Surgeon could also stop talking about what happened 30 years ago. <laughs> I'm, I'm not really sure you, you understand the double standards here. Nicola Surgeon has not taken responsibility for anything. We know the education system is currently in a mess in Scotland. We know the healthcare system is in a mess. She's cancelling the NHS appointments just so that presidents and prime ministers could drive to COP26 every single day. Ordinary, vulnerable people are losing their treatments because of Greta Thunberg's friends going to COP26. And these people are blaming Margaret Thatcher. I have absolutely no idea. If you were to blame Boris Johnson, that makes more sense. He's the Prime Minister. But Margaret Thatcher? Really? Now, as we said, uh, Rishi Sunak announced uh, the, this year's budget early this morning. If you want to see our analysis, we have the Westminster Roundup with Peter Barnes on the main channel. Uh, so definitely check out the link in the description. Go to myTC .co.uk, become a member and watch that show and all the daily podcasts that we have at 6 p.m. Thanks again for watching. I'm Maya TC and we are the media.